Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, this is that 1998 Marks uh, diesel. And uh, I took it apart, pulled the motor out, got it lubed and tuned. Uh, the motor looks almost new in this. Anyway, while I had it apart, I disconnected that stupid solenoid buzzer. And that solenoid buzzer is mounted right there. And it was powered directly off the headlight. So whenever you applied power, that buzzer came on. That's... Uh, was uh, Marx's uh, diesel roar, it was called. And it's just annoying as hell. Anyway, I got it disconnected, and I added an adapter to the front coupler, so it's now a knuckle that just snaps into the slot on that uh, tilt. Anyway, this uh, locomotive is running just absolutely perfectly. As you can see. That's about 40% power right there. All right, let's take it up to 50%. There's 50% power. Now, as you see, this locomotive is just flying around this rail. So plenty of pulling power, plenty of power, and no more of that annoying diesel roar. Headlight is working. This locomotive is in really, really decent condition. I put that snap-on adapter on the uh, front truck, uh, so it's now a uh, plastic knuckle. And uh, I just dropped a, uh, I'm using a transition car, just dropped a tab and slot into the uh, tilt coupler on the rear. So a really, really nice Union Pacific Marks diesel in just perfect running condition. Has plenty of power, 15 bucks, 15.50 actually. Really difficult to beat that. That's a really great price for this locomotive. Still haven't cleaned it up. Just been uh, working on it, getting things lubed, and like I said, to uh, pull this thing apart is like a, taking a, a, a Chinese puzzle apart. It's uh, actually quite intricate, and uh, until you uh, learn how to do it, it's maddening. Anyway, it's uh, pretty straightforward. You just have to know how to do it and uh, the motor pops out the bottom the uh, shell does not come off of the chassis it's permanently mounted so the motor comes out the bottom and it's basically uh, a standard four-wheel motor and then it's got uh, two additional sets of wheels mounted on the trucks of course as you see pretty straightforward so got a lot of oil on this and uh, going to run it just to get everything broken loose but as you can see it hasn't had a whole lot of run time it's had some but uh, not a lot and it hasn't been abused it's been fairly well stored not a lot of oxide on it the uh, biggest problem with it of course is that it had been sitting forever without running at all and a few drops of oil like I said I disconnected the diesel roar and this thing is just running splendidly As you can see, I have to say this is probably one of the nicest Marks locomotives that they made. It's quite robust, it's really well made, it looks nice, it has lots of power, lots of pulling power as well. So, I'm quite happy with it. $15.50. So, no idea why it didn't go higher than that. But this is a really, really nice 1998. In really, really decent condition. It runs nice. It looks nice. Get it cleaned up a bit. It's going to be a great addition to the collection. And, uh, like I said, I just disconnected the uh, uh, diesel roar. Which, like I said, is just a, a solenoid buzzer mounted right there. In fact, that's the mounting screw for it. And uh, so I just disconnected two, the two wires. One was run to the top of the E unit and soldered. The other one was soldered directly to the light socket. So I just uh, disconnected them, uh, coiled them up neatly, and then tucked the uh, wires up into the uh, buzzer. That way, whoever gets it next, if they want to reconnect it, they can. It's actually quite rare. But I don't see how anybody could run this for any amount of time 
with that uh, buzzer going, con I mean, just absolutely constantly, it would drive you psychotic, I think. But as you can see, this locomotive is running just absolutely splendidly. Forward and reverse. Like I said, one of the nicest Marks locomotives I have, I think. And I can see why they sell for 50 or 60 bucks. They're actually quite well made. They're really robust. And uh, when I saw this one, I just, uh, I bid on it. To my surprise, I was the highest bidder at 1550. So I'm really pleased with it. Anyway, I just wanted to do a follow-up video on it. The headlight is uh, working. I just snapped this adapter into the uh, front uh, tilt coupler. And that way you can uh, hook it directly to uh, Mark's knuckle or tab and slot. And of course, you can use tab and slot with this as well. But anyway, it uh, just really increases its usefulness being able to have a, tab and, or have a uh, knuckle coupler on the front instead of the tilt coupler. So, I'm using a transition car, uh, pulling 10 Lionel cars. This thing will pull virtually anything on this layout. Has lots of pulling power. It runs nice and smooth, as you can see. This is a really nice locomotive. I actually feel quite fortunate to have found it at this price. As you can see, it runs really well. It runs nice, it looks nice, it is inexpensive, and I haven't done anything to it but a few drops of oil, really, and uh, disconnecting the uh, Mark's diesel roar buzzer that's uh, mounted in the rear of the uh, shell. Anyway, I just want to do a follow-up video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com, and as always, Thank you for watching.